Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Our topic of our discussion is uh, leukotriene modifiers. Leukotriene is a very important inflammatory mediator in case of uh, bronchial asthma. It is also called a slow reacting substance of anaphylaxis. Uh, let us see, this is a mast cell. When it becomes, uh, becomes uh, sensitized, it uh, gets uh, degranulated and release a lot of uh, inflammatory mediators. Let us see this in brief. This is a mast cell. When the allergen or any excess induced asthma or any drugs which act on it, uh, cold air or platelet activating factor gets activated, the mast cell gets degranulated. It releases a lot of inflammatory mediators such as cystinyl leukotrienes like uh, LTC4, D4 and uh, LTE4. They act on the cystinyl LT1 receptors present in the respiratory tract. So that causes a plasma exudation, bronchoconstriction and mucus secretion is increased. It also increases the eosinophil activity in the respiratory tract. So let us see the leukotriene modifiers. These drugs uh, include 5 lipoxygenase inhibitors such as xyluton. Xyluton inhibits the synthesis of uh, LTB4 which is chemotactic in nature. And uh, it decreases the LTC4 and LTT4, which is an uh, important bronchoconstrictor. The adverse effects are hepatotoxicity. Cystinyl LT1 receptor antagonists are Montelukast, Zafirlukast, and uh, Pranulukast. They are useful in uh, prophylaxis of uh, bronchial asthma. The adverse effects, uh, more importantly, it uh, causes Chug Strauss syndrome, which is inflammation of the blood vessels with eosinophilia. So it's a very short information of the leukotriene modifiers. I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel for further updates. Series of videos are available for the different organ systems uh, like uh, GAT, blood, cardiovascular system, chemotherapy. Uh, uh, videos are available for GPAT aspirants also in the Pharma Topics channel. Kindly make use of it. Thank you.